In today's Madden video, we're going to be taking a look here at the third lesson that I want to teach you in 30 days from going from good to great in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you haven't been watching any of my videos recently, uh, what we're doing in this video is a video series called How to Go from Good to Great in Madden, 30-Day Challenge to Becoming a Better Madden Player. And essentially what we're doing is we're playing Madden for 30 days, and so, so far we've done two videos, and uh, today's video is going to be number uh, three in that category. And what I'm really excited to talk to you about today is this third principle that I call relentless repetition. And I uh, actually learned this from somebody else. And the cool part about this and, is that it can cross apply to almost any area of your life. Um, but specifically with Madden 18, one of the things that a lot of people don't do is they don't execute well. This is often most people's biggest biggest mistake is that they're, they're not able to execute the game plan that they have set for themselves. And that's a critical error and something that must be dealt with. So here's the question that uh, I want to answer today. How can you really execute the plan that you've created for yourself? Um, I think this is a question that definitely deserves much more, much more attention than it's getting. And I think it can really be one of the biggest things that helps your game this season. So the plan in Madden 18, there's a couple of different things. And this is sometimes called the meta. And that is a defense. So for defensively, what a lot of people will tend to want to do on defense is they want to run um, very specific, very specific different types of defenses. That may be a cover four, that may be a cover two, that may be nickel, that may be a looping pressure blitz. You know, it, it doesn't really matter what the defense is, but a lot of people will have different different types of plans and different uh, different types of met. They call it the meta that they'll use. So this year, the most popular defense that I, in my opinion, is the cover four or, or the cover two and if you run that out of almost any formation you're going to have a some some semblance of success the other thing that's popular this year is this uh, crossfire three blitzing pressure the reason that that's popular is because a lot of people can get you know really really good heat just from sending uh, you know three to four guys so that's pretty much it for the meta. I mean, that's that's what everyone's doing. That's what they're going to continue to do the whole season. So my question to you is then, what do you do with your game plan? All of you guys at this point should have some type of systematic plan that you use to be successful in this year's game. The question that needs to really be answered is how can you bulletproof that plan so that you actually apply what you're trying to apply and that you actually get out of the game what you're trying to get out of the game? Those are the that's the question that I want to spend a little bit of time on today, and hopefully when you guys walk out of this video, you will be much more informed than you were before you did. So the problem for most people, in in terms of um, of executing of their plan, is that then the first problem that I I kind of counter is that they don't have a clear plan to begin with. So you need to have a clear game plan on offense and defense. And what I mean by that is literally. Try to script out your play calls um, the best that you possibly can. And I know that it sounds weird to do that. Um, it sounds old, you know, old school. But to take a piece of paper and literally write out what are the what are the plays that you really want to call. And if you don't know those plays, what I would ask you to do is take a look at your play calling history and try to ask yourself what are the what are the seven plays that I tend to call more than any other play. And that is your critical play calling um, system. So what I did was I did that. I went through and tracked all my play calls. And I went through and really examined why do I call certain plays over other plays. And in doing that, I was able to discover there's you know different common themes in my play calling. One of the things is that I like to have a post route and a corner route. I like to have a C route and a drag route. Different route combinations started to pop up. And so if you do that type of research and tracking, um, it will actually help you tremendously in this year's game. One of the things that um, I've been learning recently is the importance of tracking your uh, success. This is why NFL teams, oftentimes you'll see them, they will literally track every play they go back. They watch film on every single play that they run. And there's, there's a definite, definite reason for that. So anyways, just want to encourage you to track your, your track your plays. The second thing that I want to do in terms of having a clear plan 
is I want to encourage you to try to make your plan, whatever that plan is, fit onto one um, fit onto one page, fit onto one basic document. And then you take that plan, you print it off, and you ask yourself this basic question, how can I execute this to where I can literally, it's second nature, you can ask me the down and distance, and I can tell you the play we're calling every single time. How can I systematize this to make sure that I actually follow the plan is really the question that, I, that we're, we're asking. And what I would say to that is, a lot of times people deviate from their plan for a couple of reasons. Um, and here, here's, here's the one that I want to spend uh, the remainder of the video on. People de deviate from their plan because they, number one, the number one reason people deviate from their plan, the number one reason that people don't follow through is because it's they don't understand how important it is. They think the grass is greener on the other side. They think that if they run... For example, this is often my problem. I think sometimes I'll watch different Madden players and I think, man, if I just run what they're running, then I'll, I will be instantly better for it. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Truth, obviously, um, you know, I've had a decent amount of success. Um, I've had a decent amount of success running whatever I, you know, want to run. So why would I switch? Um, this is... The grass is never as green as it looks, okay? Um, to switch schemes and to change your playbooks up and to do all that stuff, that's not, to me, that just goes against everything that would really help you get better because the game is not about the playbook you pick. Like, I'm playing draft champions right now, and I don't even have the shotgun bunch, but I guarantee you I'll still be successful. Like, I turned it over on the first drive because I didn't have a clear plan. I'm kind of making it up as I go, but... Once the game kind of settles in a little bit more, you'll see my offense start to pick up. For you guys, as you try to execute the plan, you should have that clear again. Um, so if you're running bunch, that would be the plan is that I'm going to establish PA post, and then I'm going to you know kind of systematically pick and choose when I'm going to run corner strike and when I'm going to run bunch trail and when I'm going to do that. But the, the main play that I'm going to live and die on is, is PA post. I'm going to master my progressions. Okay, so if you do that, then you know that more than likely that's the play that you're going to have to master. And you're going to have to, when all else fails, that is the play that you're going to want to run. Because that's the play that you've got the most confidence in, the most strategy, the most, it's like the Green Bay uh, Packer suite. Okay, and so similar principles uh, applies on defense as well. For me, so cover four, in my opinion, I think cover four is actually very difficult to stop if you base a line and press because um, you don't always, you're, you're not always able to get the deep throw over the top. So I think just a standard cover four, base a line and, and show blitz or base line and press is one of the toughest defenses to stop in the game or one of the toughest defenses to go against in the game because it just takes a lot of what people want to do away. It takes post routes away. It takes corners, it takes corners away. It takes... Um, you know, it takes all kinds of different routes away that people want to go to. So that's why I like that play as my base. However, I do know that the things that the cover four gives up, the cover two takes away. And so I mix those two in together along with the LB Crossfire uh, Blitz, which is one of the better blitzes in the game, um, if not the best blitz in the game. OK, so those are some of the reasons for that. But that's kind of my plan in a nutshell. But the problem and, and I was watching uh, kind of some of the different professional tournaments, uh, just kind of learning from different things that I saw them doing. And one of the things that was really interesting to me was that the, the best, best players tended to run the fewest amount of plays and they tended to um, they tended to really do a really, really good job of taking the underneath route when needed, when necessary. Okay, that's something that's very difficult to do. Okay, the best, and this is the best of the best people, they don't force the ball deep downfield. In a nutshell, that's what they do. Okay, and and likewise for you guys, you just don't get out of your game plan. And I'm telling you, um, you would be surprised at how much it helps you get better. So, Relentlessly repeat the plan that you have, and then once the season's over, reevaluate if you need.